Welcome Smart DX Media, and today, I will be sharing with us meeting of stroke, types, causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. treatment. Kindly subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell icon so that each time we release new health tips or video, you should be notified as well. Well, what is a stroke? Condition in which poor blood flow to the brain causes cell death. Also, a stroke occurs when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures and bleeds, or when there's a blockage in the blood supply to the brain. Supply to the brain. The rupture or blockage in from reaching the brain's tissues. In the brain's tissues. There are main types of stroke. An ischemic stroke, which is when there's a blocked artery, artery that reads blood flow to the brain, and a hemorrhagic stroke, which is when an artery, artery in the breaks, creating a pool of blood that damages the brain. Brain of the ischemic strokes are much more common, and the amount of damage they cause, cause is related to the parts of the brain that are affected and how long the brain suffers first from read blood flow flow now symptoms self-resolve within 24 hours it's called a transient ischemic attack tap and usually minimal long-term problems blums. okay let's start with some basic brain anatomy anatomy the brain a few regions the most obvious is the cerebrum which is divided into two two cerebrospheres each of which has a cortex an outer region divided into four, four lobe, including the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and the occipital lobe, lobe. There are a number of additional structures, including the cerebellum, which is down, down, below, as well as the brainstem, which connects to the spinal cord, cord. The right brain controls muscles on the left side of your body and vice versa, versa. The front lobe controls movement and executive function which is our ability to make decisions. The pearl lobe processes sensory information, which lets us locate exactly where we are. We are. Physically guides movements in a three-dimensional space. space. The tempo plays a role in hearing, smell, and memory, as well as visual recognition of faith and languages. Which is finally, the occipital lobe, which is primarily responsible for vision. vision. The serum helps with muscle coordination, and balance. balance. And fee, there's the brainstem plays. A vital role in functions like heart rate, heart rate, blood breathing, gastrointestinal function, and consciousness. The brain leaves blood from the left and right internal carotid arteries, as well as, as the left and right vertebral arteries, which come together to form the basilar artery. artery. The carotid arteries turn into the left and right middle cerebral arteries with these would serve lateral portions of the frontal, parietal, and temporal lobes of the brain. brain. Each internal carotid arteries also give off branches called the anterior cerebral. cerebral. Arteries serve the medial portion of the frontal and parietal lobes and connect, connect with one with a short little connecting blood vessel called the anterior communicating cating artery. Meanwhile, the vertebral arteries and basilar artery gives off branches to supply the cerebellum bellum, and the dump stump. In addition, the basilar artery divides to become the right and left posterior cerebral cerebro. arteries mainly serve the occipital lobe and some of the temporal lobe as well as the, as the thalamus. Finally, the internal carotid arteries each give off a branch called the posterior communicating cating artery, which attaches to the posterior arteries on each side, side so to the main arteries and the communicating. Arteries complete what is called the circle, circle of wisdom, a ring where blood can circulate from one side to the other in case of a blockage. Gage. The circle Willis offers alternative ways for blood to get around an obstructed vessel. vessel. In general, the brain can get by on diminished blood flow, especially when it happens gradually because it allows enough time for collateral circulation to develop, which is where a nearby by vessels sending out branches of blood vessels to serve an area that's a need. need. But one supply of blood flow is reduced to below the needs of the tissue, it causes tissue, which we call an ischemic stroke. Stroke. There are many ways that an ischemic stroke happens. Ends. One of them is endothelial cell dysfunction, which is when something irritates or inflames. Aims. The slit inner lining of the artery, the tunica intima. intima. One irritant is the toxins found in tobacco, which float around in the blood, damaging, damaging the endothelium. That becomes a site for atherosclerosis which is where a plaque forms. forms. This buildup of fat, cholesterol, 
proteins, calcium, and immune cells forms, forms and to obstruct arterial blood flow, flow. This has two parts to it, the soft, cheesy textured interior, and the hard outer, outer shell called the fibrous caps, cap, branched in arteries and particularly, the internal carotid and middle cerebral arteries are the common spots for atherosclerosis. Usually, it takes years for plaque to build up, and this slow blockage only partial blocks arteries, and so even though less, blood makes it to brain tissue there's, there's still blood, blood, so sh happen when there's a sudden and complete or near complete blockage of the of an art. So let's see how that can happen, happen, since sit in the lumen of the blood vessel, they're constantly being stressed, stressed by making forces from blood flow, and interestingly it's often the smaller plaques, plaques that are dangerous. Their caps are softer than the larger ones and are prone to getting ripped off. off. Once spins, the inner cheesy filling is exposed to the blood and is thrombogenic, genic, which means that it tends to form clots very quickly, quickly, platelet here to the exposed cheesy material and they release chemicals that enhance the, enhance the clotting process. Within that artery can be fully blocked. blocked. Another reason for ischemic stroke formation is an embolism. An embol stroke typically happens when a blood clot breaks off from one location, travels, travels through the and gets lodged in an artery. Downstream, typically an artery, arterial, arterial or carry with a smaller diameter. Amateur. These clots typically emerge from atherosclerosis but they can also form in the heart. Heart, for example, stagnant blood can form a clot, and blood can stagnate due to an atrial fibrillation, or after a heart attack. Tack. If a forms in the left atrium, it moves into the left ventricle, and from there it has a direct route to the brain. brain. On the end, if a clot forms in the low pressure veins or right atrium, then it goes into the right ventricle and gets lodged in the pulmonary capillaries with no way of getting to the brain. An exception is if a person has a heart defect like an atrial septal defect that allows blood and potentially a blood clot to wander from the right side of the heart over to the left side of the heart. In that situation, a venous or right atrial blood clot will have bypassed the pulmonary circulation and established a route to the brain brain one specific type of ischemic stroke is called a lacunar stroke and they typically involve the deep branches of the middle cerebral artery that feed the base the basal ganglia lack refers to lake and is called that since after a lacunar stroke the damaged brain tissue develops fluid filled pockets called cysts that look look like little lakes under a microscope. Black strokes classically develop as a result of hyaline arteriolosclerosis, which is when the arterial wall gets filled with protein. protein. This can as a result of hypertension or diabetes and can make the artery wall quite thick, reducing the size of the lumen. lumen. In a problem specific to an artery, something like shock can lead to a reduction in blood flow throughout the entire body. body. In these cases, the tissues that are the furthest downstream are affected the most. most. This is healthy tissue continues to extract what it needs from the blood flowing by, leaving little or no oxygen and nutrients for the tissue furthest, furthest away. The fur downstream tissues in the brain are at the border of two different blood supplies. Eyes. When the blow throughout the body is diminished for any reason, they get damaged, and this pattern of injury is called a watershed infarct. Arct. Regard of the mechanism of an ischemic stroke, it's helpful to remember that there's an ischemic core, which is the brain tissue that will likely die, die from ischemia, and then there's around the core, called the ischemic penumbra, which is preserved for a period of time by collateral circulation, and has a chance to survive if blood flow is restored quickly enough, regardless of the type of ischemic stroke. Without a steady supply of glucose and oxygen, cells run out of energy within minutes, and you get a high buildup buildup of sodium and calcium levels. High levels draws water into the cell, making it swell. This is called cytotoxic edema, edema, and calcium leads to the buildup of reactive 
Oxygen radicals that react with lipids in the membranes of mitochondria and lysosomes. Thomes. Damaged organelles allows apoptosis-inducing factors and degradative enzymes to seep out of the cell. cell. Over a 4-6 hours, immune cells begin to haul away damaged cells and the resulting inflammation damages the blood-brain bar barrier allowing fluid and proteins to get into the brain tissue causing swelling or vasogenic edema. Because bowl creates a fixed volume, the swelling leads to a mass effect where the swollen brain tissue pushes into the unaffected side of the brain called cingulate plate or uncal. Herniation or slips down and out of the base of the skull called cerebellar tonsil herniation, which is particularly dangerous because it can push onto the brainstem and affect breathing and consciousness. Strokes depend on the exact part of the brain that is affected. For example, an anterior or middle cerebral artery stroke can cause num numbness and sudden muscle weakness. If a shock affects the Broca's area, which is usually in the left frontal lobe or Wernick's, area, which is usually in the left temporal lobe, then it can cause slurred speech or difficulty understanding speech, respectively. If there's exterior cerebral artery stroke, then it can affect vision. vision. An act to remember some common stroke. Symptoms is fast, facial drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulties, and time. time to dose and confirm the location and size of an ischemic stroke. Medical imaging with a CT or MRI can be used. used. Also, angiography, which uses contrast injected into the blood, can help to visualize the exact location where blood flow is blocked within an artery. In addition, using flare sequence MRI, it's possible to distinguish a new stroke injury from an old one. Old one. In an ischemic stroke, the ultimate treatment is to re-establish blood flow as quickly as possible to prevent further cell death, particularly in the, pen the penumbra. Every minute counts, so phytolytic enzymes, like tissue plasminogen, activator or TPA, are used to activate the body's natural clot-busting mechanisms, but TP TPA does have a time limit of when it can be used. ASP also used to prevent platelets, from forming additional clots. clots. If TA is unsuccessful, surgical procedures can be used that push a wire through the artery and physically remove the clot. clot. In medical embolus removal in cerebral ischemia, called MRSA for short, the wire grabs onto the clot and draws it out of the artery. artery. In some removal, the wire is used to physically break down the clot and clot fragments are removed with suction. suction. After it has occurred, there is an elevated risk of having additional strokes, so it's important to minimize risk factors. The main one being, qu being quitting smoking, but others include having a healthy blood pressure, normal LDL, cholesterol levels, and controlling other diseases like diabetes. Occasionally, a surgery may be necessary to help clean arteries obstructed by severe atherosclerosis. For example, in a carotid endarterectomy, the internal carotid artery is opened up and atherosclerotic plaque is removed. Ooh. Alternately, a stent may be placed to keep the artery opened up and up. Okay, quick recap. An ischemic stroke occurs when there's an acute decrease in the arterial blood supply. It can be due to atherosclerosis, a thrombus, an embolus, or a global reduction in blood flow. flow. The goal is to identify symptoms and reestablish blood flow to prevent long-term damage. To remember this a common acronym is FAST, facial, facial, drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulties, and time. Now we've come to the end of topic. Please do take time to subscribe and share with your contact in order to make the health of our world a better place. place. Thank you. I'm Smart DX Media. Media. Kindly sh subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell icon so that each time we release new health tips or video, you should be notified. Bye.